When the block rests on the floor, two surfaces meet and exert contact forces on each other. Since the weight of the block results in the two surfaces pressing into each other, a perpendicular component of contact force arises. If there is a relative motion between the two surfaces, or tendency for relative motion, a parallel component of contact force arises. The perpendicular component is called the normal contact force. The parallel component is called friction. If we increase the pulling force slowly, friction will also increase to match the pulling force. But there is a limit to how strongly the two surfaces can cling onto each other. Once the block starts sliding, friction drops to a constant value. The maximum friction is dependent on two factors, the stickiness of the two surfaces and how strongly the two surfaces are pressing into each other. This is usually summed up in the expression F is equal to mu n. Friction always acts in the direction to oppose the relative motion between the two surfaces. Friction doesn't oppose motion per se. Sometimes friction destroys motion. Sometimes friction creates motion.